Hi, I'm Harry. I currently study business management at Leeds Beckett University. This is my vlog on my buying behaviour. I'm going to start off by explaining the three different buying situations and comparing these to three different products which I've recently purchased. So the first buying situation is routine problem solving. These are impulse or habitual purchases which are bought on a regular basis and there isn't much of a decision making process involved. For me, an example of routine problem solving is a Greg's coffee, as this is something which I buy most days as I want a warm drink in the morning. Next, we have limited problem solving. This is when a product is bought on a less frequent basis and may have more of a purposeful decision making process. Got to be beach matte hair paste is an example of limited problem solving for me because it is something which I buy every so often. Finally, there is extended problem solving which is something which is rarely purchased as it is usually a big investment meaning there is more risk involved when buying the product or service. An example of extended problem solving for me is when I recently bought a Leeds Festival ticket. The Chateau and McDonald 2003 These theorists believe that lots of products and services are purchased without much mental processing and that consumers gather small amounts of information about the different brands to help them feel more confident when making a decision. They stated that selection can be difficult for consumers and that different factors such as time, money and a simulation of information can help them make this decision. I can compare this theory to my routine problem solving purchase of a Greg's coffee. I buy coffee most mornings when I'm in the city centre where there are many brands to choose from. I could have spent time browsing around for different coffee, however, I knew Greg's did a good coffee for a reasonable price. Therefore, I didn't assess all of my options and used a small amount of information to come to my decision. Gosney and Richardson, 2010. They believe that there were six steps which consumers do when making a decision on which product or service they will purchase. The first stage of this theory is problem recognition. This is where a consumer identifies which problem or need they have. When I made my extended problem solving purchase, which was a Leeds Festival ticket, the problem which I recognised was I wanted to do something in summer with my friends. The next stage is information search. This is where consumers assess their environment and gather any information they may need to help them make a decision. Before making my decision to go to Leeds Festival, my friends and I assessed the environment and searched around to see what our options were. We gathered appropriate information so we could make the right decision on what we wanted to do in the summer. The third stage to this theory is information evaluation. This is where the consumer compares the product or service with all of its alternatives to ensure that they make the correct decision. For my purchase of a Leeds Festival ticket, I looked at all of the other alternatives, including a holiday abroad or other festivals such as Creamfields and Parklife. Purchase decision is the next step. This is where the consumer chooses which product or service it is which they're going to buy. In my case, this was a Leeds Festival ticket. Step five is post-purchase decision. This is where the consumer reflects and looks back on what they've purchased to see if their needs were satisfied. So am I happy with my purchase of a Leeds Festival ticket? The answer to that would be yes, I am happy with this purchase because it has a very good lineup and I believe I paid a reasonable price for a four day event. The sixth and final stage to this theory is feedback prior to next decision. This can include things such as price and quality and other factors which may influence whether or not the consumer uses the product or service again. For me, quality and price are the main factors. If I have a good time at Leeds Festival in the summer, then I may choose to go back there. However, as it was such an expensive purchase, me and my friends might choose an alternative next year. Thanks for watching my buyer behaviour vlog. I hope you enjoyed.